classification of garment pressing equipment. There are various types of garment pressing equipment used in the garment industry for different types of garments. Most garment pressing equipment machines range from miniature ironing boards to specialized steam machinery for different types of garments. Pressing equipment is also used in industries such as laundromats and small fabric shops. Pre-design garment pressing equipment. Pre-design garment pressing equipment prepares unpressed fabric through ironing before it is designed or cut. These machines are manually operated by pressing down on the fabric with a push bar that lowers the presser onto the fabric. Pre-garment presses are also used to define stitching lines in a garment before it is cut or designed. Collar and lapel garment pressing equipment. Collar, garment collar and lapel pressing equipment is ergonomically designed to press shirt collars, blouses, coats and jackets. The pressing board is curved so that the collar or lapel of a garment fits snugly on the layout board of the garment pressing equipment. Many collar and lapel presses are hand operated. Jacket garment pressing equipment. Jacket garment pressing equipments are engineered to the shape of the jacket and are manually operated by a pressing bar. It is designed to press the inside and outside of the jacket which includes the base fabric or lining inside of the jacket. Jacket garment pressing equipments can range from 51 inches on a flat surface to 72 inches for large coats and jackets. Sleeve and arm garment pressing equipments. Sleeve and arm garment pressing equipment is used to iron the sleeve of jackets and coats after the garment is manufactured or designed. Sleeve and arm presses are engineered vertically or as flat surface machines with the pressing boards shaped in the form of an arm. Depending on the type of the fabric, the jacket or coat is made of, there are different settings for each type of fabric. These settings range from low, medium or high settings which can be adjusted by a dial or switch. Miniature Garment Pressing Equipment Miniature Garment Pressing Equipment is used to iron smaller fabrics after the manufacturing or design phase. These finishing equipments consist of hand ironing devices attached to the pressing board for manual ironing. The ironing boards are flat surfaces shaped in a square or rectangle for easy ironing. Ironing and pressing equipments include irons, presses, steamers, steam air dummies, assembling and shaping equipment and axillary equipment. There are equipments that operate in sequence like ions and streamers, equipments which operate in sequence and in parallel fashion like presses, assembling and shaping equipment and in parallel fashion which are steam air dummies. Ironing and pressing equipment can be operated manually or by a pedal. They can also be powered by pneumatic, hydraulic or belt drive from electric motors. Presses with capacities up to 50 mn that is 50, 500 kg force are considered light up to 200 mn that is 2500 kg force as medium and above 250 mn is heavy. Presses are manufactured with electric, steam and oil heating equipment. Axillary equipment includes various attachments, forms and moistness. The most common but least productive ironing and pressing device is the iron, which is suitable for performing a large number of operations in processing with heat and moisture. More refined and more productive but less widespread are ironing presses which permit a considerable degree of mechanization and some automation of processing with heat and moisture. Fabrics are steamed in order to eliminate sheen or lusher which develops when ironing and pressing equipment is used. Steaming is done either on specially designed ironing presses or 
process that combine pressing and steaming or on steaming equipment. There are two basic type of ions, one dry ion and the others are electrical steam ions. Dry ions are lightweight ions weighing about 1.4 kgs with a heat range of between 70 to 240 degrees Celsius and electronic temperature controls that have a reliable accuracy of plus or minus 3 degrees Celsius. This type of ion is made in a variety of shapes and is mainly used for smoothing or finishing operations where steam is unnecessary. Electric steam ions are the most commonly used type of hand ion and carry out a wide variety of operations, especially those concerned with under pressing. The ion has a heating element and steam is fed from a central or independent boiler into the steam chamber in the base of the ion. The heat generated can be controlled by a thermostat and supplied with steam either from the factory's main steam supply or from a small boiler adjacent to the pressing unit. The steam function of the iron is activated by the touch of a button. These type of ions weigh anywhere from 2 to 15 kgs. There are several shapes are available. Narrow ones are used for seam opening on sleeves and trouser legs. For ironing of seams, especially designed iron is advantageous. The narrow sole of the seam iron and the arched and narrow ironing buck avoid marks on the garment. For ironing fabrics that are sensitive to shine, Teflon shoes should be used. The Teflon reduces the contact temperature by up to 40 degrees Celsius and therefore prevents shine. We also have wide shapes for or flat shapes or also we have pointed shapes. Irons are used on simple pressing tables. Modern tables have a supply of vacuum to hold the garment in place and dry after ironing. The pressing table can have swivel arms, bucks of varied shapes to allow the laying of sleeves, shoulders and colors. The decisive factor for an ironing station is the air flow through the garment to cool the fabric and set the ironing result. Ironing tables are used with an iron. The textiles are ironed between the heat and the steam of the iron and the padded board. There are different types of ironing stations available. They are jacket seam ironing station, trouser seam ironing station, Sleeve seam ironing station, dress board ironing tables,
ஆல் பர்பஸ் டேபிள்ஸ் ஃப்ளாட் டாப் ஐனிங் டேபிள்ஸ் ப்ளவுஸ் அண்ட் ஷர்ட் ஐனிங் ஸ்டேஷன்ஸ் ட்ரௌசர் லெக் ஐனிங் ஸ்டேஷன்ஸ் hip bow ironing stations concave ironing stations convex ironing stations and finally curtain ironing tables
in steam presses the steam is delivered to the article through an upper ironing cushion the working part of steaming equipment is a brush with a nozzle mounted on a flexible steam resistant sleeve joined to a seam line or individual steam generator they consist of a static buck and a head of appropriate shape which closes onto it sandwiching the garment a foot the head closes by either a scissor action or in recent ones vertically foot controls the head closure and vacuum the operator can vary head pressure a typical cycle is steam from the buck head lock to press further steam from the head and the buck head released vacuum to cool and dry head may be operated manually or automatically steam duration pressure and vacuum can be controlled and set there are steam presses which can be classified as self contained units these units incorporate a steam boiler and electrically driven vacuum and air blowing facilities and are increasingly used both in the under pressing of tailored garments and the pressing of unstructured garments because these self contained units can be moved from place to place a spring facility holds the iron to reduce operator fatigue in continuous picking up and putting down the iron steam air finisher it is also called as a puffer a form press form finisher or a dolly press work on steam air dummies is highly efficient a steam air dummy consists of a metal frame on a firm rotating base with padding in the shape of the finished product placed on the frame special equipment employing steam and hot air under pressure is used to shape the product placed on the dummy steam air finishers consist of a frame carrying a steam distribution system compressed air distribution system and a pressing form which is a canvas bag in the approximate shape of the garment to be pressed that is more like a body shape but with no sleeves there are controls for steam and air release and timers to control their cycles little pressure is applied and whole garment is pressed at the same time however creases cannot be set in this machine the operator fixes the garments on clamps form is then expanded to full size and steam is blown from the inside to outside followed by hot air drying it is used for night dresses t-shirts blouses jeans and other casual trousers which do not require crease it may require additional pressing of certain areas steam air dummies are used to form dresses suits coats underwear and certain other products
right.
はい、申し訳ございません。はい、はい、はい、これ一二三と一二三という形の中で。はいはいはいA tunnel finisher is a machine used to remove wrinkles from garments. The machine processes each garment through several stages. First, the garment passes through a steam chamber to make the fabric moldable. Then wrinkles are removed by a strong hot air flow alongside the garments. Finally, the garment is dried by cooler air before it leaves the tunnel finisher. Tunnel finishes can be grouped into two different classifications, wide body or narrow body. Wide body machines are designed for high production finishing of blended garments, wet to dry, damp to dry and or dry to dry. Narrow body machines are designed for shoulder to shoulder processing and are best suited for the dry to dry finishing of garments. However, they are capable of damp to dry finishing at slow air production speeds. These units are ideal for dry cleaners, hotel laundries, institutional laundries and other on-premise laundry applications. TP Series Triple Pass Tunnel Finisher from Leonard Automatics features the most innovative garment finishing technology today. Its unique S-turn steam injection design provides more production per square foot than any other finisher on the market. The VTP is capable of 600 to 3500 garments per hour with more production per square foot than the competition. It's constructed with the quality you expect from a Leonard Automatics product with stainless steel panels providing outstanding corrosion resistance. And its patented customizable modular design means the VTP can grow with your business. The results are amazing. Finishing begins in the S-turn steam chamber where steam tubes are configured to fully surround the garment with steam. The VTP steam header creates a high velocity steam environment carrying more energy to the garments and quickly raising fabric temperature to more than 200 degrees versus the traditional 160 degrees found in other configurations. The innovative S-turn design exposes every part of the garment to direct steam injection for superior fabric relaxation. The Leonard VTP design creates greater heat transfer applied more evenly throughout the finisher for higher evaporation rates, greater production, and a higher quality finish. 
The VTP is engineered to process garments directly from the washer extractor, both shirts and pants with no conditioning. That saves you labor, time, energy, and reduces the need for as much conventional dryer capacity. Transporting garments through the Leonard VTP is our stainless steel conveyor system, featuring low stretch chains that are 20% stronger than comparable chains. The drive unit, fixed plow, and air plows are fully customizable to meet virtually any need. Control is at your fingertips with Leonard's PLC Operator Interface Control Center. The touchscreen allows for intuitive access to all tunnel operational controls, along with automated troubleshooting, maintenance schedules, alarm logs, and much more. Leonard Automatics also offers a variety of options to help maximize production and efficiency with the VTP finisher. The patented auto filter, automatic lint filtration system saves energy, time and labor by keeping the filter system clean and helps provide consistent quality throughout the production day. Ethernet connectivity allows you to connect to your local network for remote monitoring and troubleshooting. The infrared garment temperature sensor safeguards against fabric overheating, protecting your customer's investments. Leonard's Pacer Production Management System helps train operators quickly and then helps to maintain increased production. Manual counting stations track individual operator production. Custom slant tables and hanger loading stands increase production and decrease operator fatigue. And the amazing Auto Loader Automated Loading System maximizes the loading of every conveyor pendant for unmatched productivity. And behind the Leonard VTP finisher is the engineering, installation, training, and support of the industry leader, Leonard Automatics. The Leonard Automatics VTP series of triple pass tunnel finishers. High production, energy efficient, and superb quality finish, creating the best investment in the industry.